It feels like a dream. Literally, I, I can't believe that this has been my life for four and a half months. It's just every day you see something absolutely crazy. It's been so memorable, so special. It's almost like a meditation for four and a half months. Yeah. Like you're always at a temple. There's uh, so much to see. It's just stimulus, so much stimulus to my brain. It, make, it makes sense why the Japanese people in their history mm -hmm. were so spiritual. Mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. you know, with like Buddhism, Shinto, mm -hmm. you know, because this whole country is like I'm Tolu from Japan. Today, I got an interview with an American couple who has been in Japan for about five months. So I asked them a lot of questions about like Japan or America, or what is the difference between Japanese and American. Okay, let's get started. Uh, finally, I can interview this American couple. Yeah, I'm very glad and uh, I really miss them. Yeah, because so we spend a lot of time in Japan. Today, I want to interview about like uh, has like an impression or good experience in Japan, mm -hmm. or what is like a difference between like American or Japanese culture or something like that. So mm -hmm. yeah, first of all, can I like uh, introduce yourself? Can yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Of yeah. Course, yeah. Um, my name is Drake, mm -hmm. and I'm from America. Mm -hmm. I'm 26 years old. And uh, this is my wife. We were married uh, almost three years ago. Mm. I'm Morgan Hermanson, also from the US. We're from Utah, kind of by Vegas. And um, maybe we have some American bias, but we love Japan. It mm. has been so fun. We've been here since August. Yeah, August since that, August but. 1st, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Ninos. <laughs> Cold them <Shipping>. all. <laughs> Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's kind of our background. Mm -hmm. We've been here since August, so you know, a little over four months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we yeah. we met Toru, and we he has shown us mm -hmm. a lot of Japan, all the local things, all the really cool memories that we have are with Toru. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's been super been super really fun. fun. Yeah. Maybe like uh, my like a viewer, so want to know about like uh, what is the reason to like uh, come you guys came to Japan. So because you're living like America and born and raised in like uh, the US, like. Yeah. So what is uh, like uh, what brought you to come to Japan? Mm. Um well, it's been my dream to come to Japan since I was a kid. I've had a lot of like the Japanese influence in my life. Mainly from just like Nintendo growing up or like Studio Ghibli. My family um, would, uh, my family has actually owned four like Shiba Ken, like Shiba Inu dogs. Mm -hmm. And so even just like that small influence as a kid, I'm like, oh, this dog comes from Japan. Like, I want to learn more about Japan. Like, even since I was a little kid, I loved my dogs. And so I thought I loved Japan. So I loved Legends of Zelda. So I also love Japan. And so that that started as a young kid, but as I grew up, I was like always dreamed about at least visiting Tokyo, you know. Um, I grew up in a really small town, so we didn't really talk much about geography. So I wasn't very aware of Japan until recently. Like I, I was just not aware of the world, so it's not just Japan. But um, you know, we got married, we started traveling a lot, and Drake has a gap year in school, so we had some time where he could do classes online, I could work online, and we wanted something completely different, somewhere that we could live longer term, we'll travel longer longer term, and we didn't want to go to Europe, we wanted to go somewhere different, and so after a lot of, you know, we really like Japan culture, we like Japan people, um, we just really like a lot of things about Japan, it just felt really right, basically, so, we have loved every minute of it. It's very safe too. Very safe. Um, so much to do. We love the city, so Tokyo was really oh, yeah. enticing for us. So much fun. Usually when we when we travel, um, like uh, like she was saying, we really love America. You know, um, we love our hometown. I love the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Um, but yeah, we love America, and so usually when we travel somewhere, be it like Europe or Costa Rica or something. Like after about eight or nine days, like we're good, you know, we love it, but we're ready to go home. And so we wanted to go somewhere that was completely new, super safe, um, had a lot to do. 
And so it was actually her idea to come to Japan mm -hmm. um, in the end. So. Yeah. And uh, you guys like uh, stay at Japan like uh, four months or five months like? Yeah. Four and a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, August, and we're leaving next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a super exciting experience, but maybe, so I want to know, like, uh, so how did you save enough money, like, to enjoy <laughs> in Japan, or what kind of way is uh, best for you guys, like you guys, yeah? Uh, it's kind of a unique situation. Um, we... Mm -hmm. We have a lot. <laughs> we we don't have a lot of money. Uh -huh. We know we're poor. We know we're broke. Um, but we've just been saving money, and we know that he's gonna be making a lot more money come of, when he graduates. Mm -hmm. So we we just had money saved up that we've been able to go. But I'm not gonna lie, we don't have any money now. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. It's been it was worth so it. worth it. <laughs> it was so worth it. Well, we were thinking we were thinking about maybe because I have a full gap year. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, well, you know, we have until summer of 2024. Let's come back to Japan um, after Christmas. But uh, not enough money. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, is it's just as expensive, a little less expensive than it is at our home. So I do some work online. Drake does school. So we had enough in our savings to kind of help us but um, we thought well would we rather just be at home or be in Japan so it, it's I don't know it's possible for anyone I think um, I think that uh, if you're living in America I think you can afford Japan um, but that's depending on if you give up your apartment because we don't have an apartment anymore like we live in Japan so as long as you're not paying rent there you can pay rent here for sure yeah Okay. And I would I, before coming here, I worked a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like I worked. We were, yeah. So I averaged probably 50 hours a week, 50 to I, sometimes I would knock out like a 75 hour week, just mm -hmm. because. And mm. so. And on the other hand, like you keep like studying at the university. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. So, but like here, if I did work, it was teaching English online. Mm -hmm. I was mainly taking classes. There's just so much to do here in Japan, and so. Too yeah, much to see. Too much to see. Yeah. We it thought we were going to relax. Yeah. There's been no relaxing. No relaxing. Yeah. Especially when Toru huh? takes us to these really cool places. Super amazing places, yeah. yeah. So. Mm. Okay, so if so, what is like a highlight while you are traveling? Maybe this is a very difficult question for you guys. So what is the most like memorable experience? Oh, this is going to make me emotional. But honestly, like our friends, mm. I, I, we were talking about that and... You know, Drake speaks Japanese, so he has been able to, um, you know, meet you and meet all of our friends. And honestly, I don't think we, it would have been a completely different experience if we were here for the four and a half months and not have met any of our Japanese friends. Like, we hang out with our friends all the time. Um, I think that if people were to meet people like Toru and other people who want to, know people from out of Japan. It just makes the biggest difference and that's literally been probably the highlight of this. I think I think it's commonly said that like Japanese people have kind of like the, you know, the uchi and the soto, mm -hmm. you know, like they have their they have their yeah, inside yeah. inside group and it's hard to get in that group. Um, and I I would have to say it's no different than anywhere else in the world. I uh, think I think the mm -hmm. I think that in like Japan yeah, yeah, like Tor. <laughs> I think in I mean you may not be able to get in every single group you go into, but if you're like a decently fun human being and you speak English or any other language, there are so many Japanese people that want to learn English. Mm -hmm. And so it's not that they're just your friends to learn English. You know, you could tell pretty easily, but like I was trying to learn Japanese, you know, Toru and a lot of, you know, of my Japanese friends, they wanted, you know, to learn English. There's a lot of Japanese people that have traveled and want to make friends abroad. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's great. Well, there's apps, there's online, there's any way, shape, form to make friends here in Japan. Yeah, even I was just sitting at Starbucks and this girl next to me just said, hey, because I was on the phone with him and he, she says, All right, where are you from? You know, uh, she spoke some English enough to communicate and, you know, I said, I'm from America. And she's like, oh, I, I love that. And... I just made a friend, and, and she was the one that reached out to me, you know, so I think that that's a common misconception is you're not going to make friends here. You can. 
Yeah, you gotta you gotta put yourself in situations to make friends too. Like if you only go to Shibuya, mm -hmm. you know, or you know, Shinjuku, and are walking around the streets, you're not gonna like make friends. You gotta like go to the bars or go to a gym or go like I made a lot of friends at like the bathhouses, you know, mm -mm. really cool friends because it's just like I don't know. They a lot of people have interest in in foreigners. It's not like all Japanese people are as cold as they say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, if so, what is like a big cultural differences between U.S. the U.S. and um, Japan? So you say like uh, even Japanese people is kind of like a uh, friendly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if so, what is like a uh, culture shocking or something like that? I think that um, Japan is very quiet. <laughs> very quiet. We had to take it not only down to here, but to here. Loki. It's very not low like key. even like whispering on the trains. It's you, you, you have to be very, very, very aware of other people. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that I guess culture shock is just something that you had to really, really pay attention to is just considering everyone around you, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I tell, I told, we had a few of our American friends come mm -hmm. uh, visit us while we were here. Mm -hmm. And I always tell them like Americans, you know, ten being loud and, you know, whisper uh -huh. being like softer. Mm -hmm. I think the American whisper is like a level four or three, you know, like we're whispering, like we're whispering, but it's still so loud. I'm like, you got to turn it down to a one. <laughs> like Japan is a one, yeah. you know, and, and if you do come to Japan and you find yourself talking to a friend, just stop talking for a second you and realize there's not a single person, <laughs> even on rush hour, there is an entire train full of people like shoulder to shoulder. And if you don't you talk, there's no one, no one talking. Uh, and not that's even. okay. That's yeah, okay. I think also um, I America we we drive everywhere here. It's just you walk and you take public transportation, and mm -hmm. everywhere you go, there's just people. I guess that depends where you are living at in the world, but mm -hmm. Central America, mm -hmm. is, uh, Central United States, mm -hmm. is very big, and so here it's just you got to get used to being around people mm -hmm. all the time, which mm -hmm. I I love it. I like it a lot. I think we do miss the cars. We do though. miss cars. Mm. Yeah. Even though public transit is amazing here. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of freedom in a car mm -hmm. um, where you can listen to music on yourself, listen to podcasts. Um, sure, one person has to drive, mm -hmm. you know, so they have to focus on the road. But um, it's freedom in a car. It's just freedom, yeah. I mean, a lot of times I sit outside or I go get McDonald's in my car, go through the drive through I eat my food and just chill on my phone in silence. Or sing in the car with music on. You can't do that here. Can't do that here. But other than that, yeah, it's Japan's been pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, so I really surprise a lot of like a uh, foreign people use like a uh, Spotify. Spotify. <laughs> yeah, Spotify. <laughs> yeah, I think Japanese people, almost Japanese people, do not use Spotify. I really? think like uh, uh, Apple Music or like Amazon Unlimited or something like that. Well, what's so funny is yeah. I, I, we yesterday we're staying with our uh, Japanese friend in yeah. Saitama right now. Yeah. You know, thanks so much, Shizuka. Um, but uh, she switched to Spotify because her Apple Music uh -huh. free trial uh -huh. uh, ended. So now she's like, I'm using Spotify now, and I'm like, Japanese people use Spotify, Toru. I guess <laughs> yeah. it's real. It's, it's real. real. It's yeah. real. There are some people in America that use, mm. uh, I don't know, I don't know the percentage, but everyone I know uses mm. Spotify. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you say that like uh, you stay at Japan for half months, right? Yeah. So mm. I want to know about like uh, what is like uh, being white people or like uh, being mm. like a uh, foreign people like uh, and living in Japan? The only thing can I first. can really think of is I think I think I just think I'm different mm -hmm. so maybe that's in my head sometimes but the only time it's ever been like noticeable mm -hmm. is no. when we're on the train mm -hmm. and we sit down mm -hmm. and it's it's busy and sometimes nobody will sit next to us oh. even though everyone's standing but after talking to some Japanese people it's because they're they are nervous to uh, make conversation because mm -hmm. they don't feel like they're English or they don't know how to speak so I think they're nervous rather than they just don't like you mm -hmm. well I think foreigners in other countries they will they'll talk to strangers like they'll just small talk mm -hmm. you know and small talk is a very common cultural thing it's like the almost the opposite of tatemai I think it's almost like I feel obligated to talk to somebody mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we made eye contact mm -hmm. 
you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Whereas here in Japan, people will just like stare at you, and you just without trying, you know? Same. They just like look around. Yeah. And like, I'll just nod at them and they'll nod back uh -huh. and then they'll just go back to looking at their phone. Yeah. But like, just because we're, even with the staff, mm -hmm. like if you're, I've noticed that like a staff doesn't have to always like small talk with the customer. Mm -hmm. It's just like, what do you want? It's not, it's not rude. They're mm -hmm. really nice, yeah, but it's just like, think. Hey, what can I get for you? Okay. Is that it? Okay. Bye. And then they leave. It's not like, where are you from? How you doing? You know, even if it's like super slow and I'm, we're the only people in the restaurant, mm -hmm. no small talk at all. Mm -hmm. So I actually like, it's kind of refreshing. Uh -huh. I mean, depends on how lonely you are in life. And if that small talk is like, makes you feel really good, yeah. you're not going to find that in Japan, mm -hmm. but just chat with family and friends and it will make up for it. You don't have to meet strangers all the time, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Other than that, like, we haven't felt much discrimination. I want to ask her about, um, what about in the onsen? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first right, of all, yeah. so did you feel like an uh, involvement to be naked at the first time? Uh, yeah, well, the first time wasn't here in Japan. It was actually in America at, in, uh... Dallas. It was Dallas. at a, it was a Korean bathhouse in Dallas. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And so I was very uncomfortable, but that's because America is, it, that's, they're not used to that. So when I came here, I had a little more experience. Mm -hmm. I was pretty nervous, um, but it ended up being fine. I, I love the bathhouses. I think, you know, if you have the opportunity, you definitely should do it. Um, there are some parts that I've been to, um, usually in like the smaller small, the small centos, centos. Uh -huh. where it's like the small local, local neighborhoods uh -huh. that um, I've been alone mm -hmm. and I go in and I do get looks and, but it's not in a way that's like, I think they're just kind of confused. Mm -hmm. Like imagine like having your local bar that you always go to mm -hmm. and you know everybody that's always there yeah. and then someone different just comes in. I don't yeah. think you're like, oh, why are they here? But I think you're like, yeah. I wonder why they're here. You know, like this is really small and all my friends are here. I'm just wondering, you know, how are you here? And I think they care more about if you're doing things right, making sure you're clean mm -hmm. and, you know, following protocol more than they're like, oh, who is this foreigner? So that's, I, discrimination, I don't think so, but yeah. it's just like, I don't know. But other than that, we haven't had any issues. Mm -hmm. No, in fact, on the boys side, mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the onsen <laughs> yeah. and like the, the local sentos, the bathhouses, no one even looks at me. Like I'm invisible, you know? I think girls just like to chat Aww. more though. Girls like to chat more, but the men are super quiet. So if you're a foreigner and you want, and you're here mm -hmm. in Japan, and you want like to feel just super chill, mm -hmm. which we could, I can talk forever about like totono, like mm -hmm. like the sauna high, mm -hmm. it's so amazing. Yeah. Like there's saunas yeah. everywhere in Japan, there's cold baths, there's ice plunges. It's like, you feel so relaxed more than any other time in my whole life than here in Japan. Like mm -hmm. it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're a male and you go there, no one's gonna talk to you, no one's gonna look at you. Um, they might, ah. sorry, mosquito. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Um, so yeah, like I recommend it. But yes. other than that, for me with discrimination, mm -hmm. I think like I I really like languages. Mm -hmm. Like Japanese is my hobby. Mm -hmm. You know, it's become like one of my favorite things to study is Japanese. And so I think um, when I go to like a uh, when I go to a store or when I go somewhere, they see that I'm white, mm -hmm. and they immediately talk to me in English. And then I'll respond in Japanese, and then they'll talk to me in English again, mm -hmm. and then I'll respond to them in Japanese, and it will take probably three, four, or five se sentences mm -hmm. before they're like, oh, Nihongo shoberimasu ka? You know, like, oh, you can actually speak Japanese? I'm like, yes, you know, or I'm trying, I need practice. Yeah. And so that's probably the only discrimination, I think. It's not even really uh, discrimination. It's not even discrimination, yeah, it's, it's, discrimination. Just like, it's just like, it's like, I'm trying to speak Japanese, mm -hmm. and they will only speak English to but me. But I mean, that's yeah. good for people who don't speak Japanese. No, yeah. They you, speak English. They, Japanese people speak English. Like, mm -hmm. they speak good English. I think in on, um, on social media mm -hmm. and stuff, people will like to exaggerate. They're like, Japanese people don't... No, everyone learns Japanese. Maybe not from a little kid. Every Japanese person learns English. Mm -hmm. Maybe not from, like, young, young, mm -hmm. but they'll learn it in middle school and high school. Like, they can get by. Like, and they're super humble about it. Even Toru is like, my English is not, my like, dude, Toru's English is great, you know? So don't worry about no, that. People, people are, people are super, they, they want to help you. And they want to help you. So mm -hmm. that's, it's super easy. How's your experience been? Hey, I, I knew about like, uh, so Drake can speak Japanese very well. Mm. So 
I want to ask you. So, without like Japanese, is it comfortable to like stay at Japan or to travel Japan? You know, I think that's hard to say because I'm always around Drake.、Yeah. So when I I just expect him to speak Japanese, but there are a few times where I am alone,、mm-hmm. and. Honestly, it's surprising how two people can communicate without even using any words.、Mm. So, let's say they don't speak English,、mm. which is rare, but when they don't,、mm. it's really easy to like, use body language or I don't know. I feel like Japanese people are very, very, they want to help you.、Mm. They, they're not going to be mad that you don't know Japanese. They're not going to be mad that it's a miscommunication. Like, they genuinely like, want to know、mm-hmm. and help you. So, like, if there's a miscommunication, they're never annoyed. Or anything. So I don't know. Like, I haven't had issues getting around. I only know like three words. That is it.、Um, but it, Drake has been honestly like what's gotten me around. So I don't know. Maybe my answer would be different if I wasn't with him. But the times that I've been alone, it's been, it's been fine. Okay. If you can bring back a souvenir, it's okay. Like material things or mental or spiritual, like a cultural things to the United States. What do you want to bring back as a souvenir? Onsen culture. <laughs> yeah, onsen yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, onsen. Yeah, onsen culture, especially the culture. Because、mm-hmm. Americans are not ready for that.、Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, it's, it's different, you know?、Mm-hmm. Like, I think in America we have our jacuzzis. You know, our, we have our jacuzzi culture. Jacuzzi. Hot tub. Jacuzzi.、Uh, Hot jacuzzi. Yeah.、Uh-huh. Uh, which is totally different, you know? Everyone's like, Talking really loud and like either drinking or、ah. you know, eating pizza,、mm-hmm. and it's, it's not like a, like a relaxing situation, it's a, it's a socializing party.、Mm-hmm. Whereas here in Japan, like、okay. an on, no, no. we're stuck, m i z u g i yeah, with, with、uh, boys and girls, you know. Whereas in Japan, it's not that at all, it's,、mm-hmm. it is literally you're bathing, you know, you're, you're taking a bath.、Mm-hmm. In, like, the coolest bath the coolest. ever. Like, rocks and, like, trees. <laughs> waterfall. And, like, a waterfall. There's always waterfalls into it. <laughs> and there's, like, the steam. And, you know, I think being, like, if wearing underwear or a swimming suit in your own shower、mm-hmm. would be really weird. <laughs> so, yes, they separate it by genders,、yeah. but it's no different than, like, a football locker room.、Mm-hmm. Like, no one cares.、Mm-hmm. So. It's,、uh, so、it's one of、like、the coolest experiences because it is a bath, but you're sharing it with everyone. And there's like, no chlorine because jacuzzis are like, so like, strong, like chlorine, like wow. It ruins your swimming suits. Whereas、um, onsens and stuff are natural spring water. And so you got to be really clean, and everyone just shares it together, and everyone minds their own business and just, oh. My little sister came to Japan, and、um, she's younger, her and her boyfriend. And,、um, You know, when I told her, first told her, I said, Hey, we're going to go to、yeah. an onsen or sento. And she says, I will not do that. I can't do that. I can't even believe that. that like, because it's just so, you don't, in America, it's just so backwards.、Mm-hmm. And so、okay. I was like, that, that, that is that like now,、huh? Puritan religion, religion uh, everything. Stuff, so,、yeah. but, so she was like, so the, the, the thought of, Being naked even around your own sister is like no way. And that's what she was most nervous about. And so I was like, no, you just gotta try it, you gotta try it. And so she was super nervous, but then she said she was only nervous for like a second. As soon as she started, you know, and went to go to the bath, she's like, oh, this isn't bad at all, and got over it very quickly. And she said that was her favorite part of Japan, and she's gonna miss the onsens. She said it was so relaxing, so amazing. She says, I don't even know why I was nervous, you know? Another thing, too, that I think is, is people with like, either anxiety or ADHD, you know, I think we're always like, glued to our phones,、mm-hmm. you know? And in, in the onsen,、mm-hmm. you can't bring your phone, obviously, because、uh-huh. everyone's、uh, not wearing clothes.、Yep. So you have to leave your phone in the locker.、Oh. And you go and you、meditate. either you sit in the sauna and you meditate.、Yeah. And you sit in the, in the,、mm-hmm. in the mineral water、mm-hmm. and you meditate. And it's just like such a like, your mind just goes blank.、Mm-hmm. And、amazing. so people who have like either anxiety or ADHD, it's a really, really awesome、mm-hmm. experience.、Mm-hmm. I, I would recommend it、yeah. if you come to Japan. It's a very good perspective.、Mm-hmm. Okay,、yeah. last of two questions、mm-hmm. for you guys. So you came from the United States. So which place is the most attractive place in the United States? Please like, recommend us <laughs> to come to、like, a particular place. In, in the US? In the US. Well, we're probably biased, but probably not.、Uh, <laughs> Southern Utah. 
Southern Utah. Utah? Mm. Yeah. Southern oh. Utah. Southern Utah. Southern Utah. I think it's just... Northern Arizona, Southern Utah. Yeah. Yeah, by... That area. Lake Powell area. Mm -hmm. Zion, Lake Powell. Mm -hmm. Only because, like, there's really amazing, beautiful places in the United States. Like, Japan's very beautiful. Like, but it's all green, which is really pretty. You can have beaches, you know, all that. But mm -hmm. you will not find red rock mm -hmm. desert. You will not find a red Grand Canyon with a huge lake in there. Uh, like, you will not find Zion, you will not find, like, Mars mm -hmm. anywhere Mars. <laughs> except for southern Utah and Arizona. Like, that's just, it's nowhere, so. Or maybe, like, Jordan in the Middle East. Maybe, but, yeah. But in the United States, But in the it's U.S., it's very different. special. It's very special. And so, if you're going to go to the U.S., I mean, you can go to L.A., but go to southern Utah. Go through, go to L.A. Huh? I'll go backwards. LA, go up to Las Vegas, and then go to Southern Utah. Make yeah. that loop. It's only a six hour drive. I know that sounds really long, but that's actually not for it's worth you, it. for America. Mm -hmm. So worth it. Uh, mm. you do? What do you think? Yeah, I would agree. Um, I think uh, kind of like us, you know, we, like we really enjoyed Tokyo and Osaka. Those are like the big cities. Mm -hmm. So like for Japanese people, they might really love New York and Los Angeles, mm -hmm. you know, kind of the same situation. Mm -hmm. But we had the opportunity to go to, like, um, Fukui mm -hmm. Prefecture, Chibet. you know, Gunma Prefecture, Chiba Prefecture, some of these more rural areas. Yeah, very more tiny place. Yeah, <laughs> very, a lot of cool scenery. And if we spent the last four months only in Tokyo, mm -hmm. we, we would have missed. We, we missed. Mm -hmm. So, sure, go to Los Angeles. You know, it's a little dangerous. Or, mm -hmm. But if you go to, you know, Zion National Park mm -hmm. or, you know, Northern Arizona, Sedona, Grand Canyon, Bryce Lake Canyon. Powell, Bryce Canyon. Those, uh, it's worth it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's very safe, mm. very safe. Mm. Maybe be careful in the very middle of summer because it's very hot. Sabaku. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but very, you can very... just drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. If you can handle Japan heat, you can handle mm -hmm. Southern Utah yeah. heat. Mm -hmm. So that's our recommendation. Yeah. yeah. And eat Mexican food. Mexican, Mexican food. Mexican food. Not American food. Uh, uh, you, you can. can. You can have a burger. <laughs> you can, you can have a burger. In and out burger, yeah. <laughs> But then go get some Mexican food. Yeah. Good Mexican food. Real Mexican food. Uh, okay, so lastly, please summarize your like a uh, memorable trip. It feels it's like a Ghibli a Ghibli movie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ghibli movie. It feels like a dream. Literally, I I can't believe that this has been my life for mm -hmm. four and a half months. It's just every day you see something absolutely crazy. It's been so memorable, so special. It's almost like a meditation for four and a half months like yeah. you're always at a temple there's ah. so much to see it's just stimulus so much stimulus to my brain. it make, it makes sense why the japanese people in their history mm -hmm. were so spiritual mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. you know with like buddhism shinto mm -hmm. you know because this whole country is like heaven heaven you know literally heaven on earth like it's so clean so quiet the you know we experienced you know two seasons uh, almost to winter and uh, summer and fall and almost to winter and so we got to see like the leaves change um and just seeing like the differences of japan see the see the ocean see you know the mountains see all that it's pretty special and like just you know even just like sitting in the shinkansen or like the the bus and seeing the nature and like putting like spirited away music <laughs> like the studio ghibli. ghibli music in my ears I'm just like, wow, this is cool. I think, yeah, a word to summarize it is, pro yeah, spiritual. Like heaven. It's, it's like yeah, heaven. heaven. It's heaven. like heaven. Tenguk. So it's a very spiritual experience. <laughs> okay, thank you for cooperation. Nextly, so I definitely go to the United States. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Fist bump. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching so far. That was a very interesting interview, and I love to talk to the people who came from like a foreign country or who has an interesting background. If you have, please leave a comment. See you next time.